Right, I'm going to show you how to get your RAM back from that bloody hardware reserved. I do this every day. I've already put a video on YouTube, but I've got an idea that no one followed it very well. Anyway, I'll, put, look, I'll show you now. Look. Quickly, right, you go to Start Manager, and you see I've only got 1,500 1, available RAM, when it should have 6 mine, and my computer goes slow. When if I leave it like that, and it's just not acceptable, you know. One point five RAM. You can imagine that a lot of people, like say an old woman, would just leave it like this. A slow computer is not good. So, you know, in the resource monitor, you will see that uh, it's all in hardware reserved. Look, four thousand. Oh, four thousand five thousand blah blah all my, it's all in hardware reserved which I think is I, I suspect Adobe After Effects might have done that but you know if you've done that as well Adobe After Effects then maybe that's our problem but anyway I've deleted all that stuff and it's still my RAM's gone what I do is I've got a shortcut here to reg edit but you can just type it in there so we type in reg edit yes right there it is boom and then yes right and this menu is the bit which is important right we start off with H key local machine right let me use my mouse Right, um, and then it goes to system, and then current control set, and control, and then it goes all the way. Is it, I missed this before. Right, it goes all the way down to uh, la, 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 so session manager, memory management, and that's it. And then you have that menu. And then you go to clear page file at shutdown. You have that. Yours will be a zero or a one, or whatever. I used to just change it like different, but now I found it a little quicker way. Anyway, what I do, I press any number, I don't care, right? And then, see so how I press enter. And then I press enter again. And I'll just press any number, right? But as long as I end it with pressing zero, yeah? Put it back to zero or whatever. Press OK. Close it down. And then shut down the computer, right? Shut down, not restart. Restart doesn't do it. And, um... <clears throat> The reason I change all the numbers back there, like, a few times, is because this doesn't necessarily work the first time for some reason. Sometimes it takes me two times, or even three times, to make sure I get my uh, six gigabyte of RAM, right? So sometimes I might want to wait a bit now. But, whatever. I might cut this out of the video but anyway I look back now on start manager task manager sorry and I will have my RAM all back as long as I leave this computer on all day and all night I have my RAM but then tomorrow or if, if you turn the computer off for maybe about an hour or something it loses it says your memory's changed and it goes back to 1.5 available, which is not acceptable. But then you go through that menu on Reg Edit. I have to do it every day, at least once, because the first time does not always work. Uh, this is the first. No, this is the second time today. Yeah, so this is why I think it's going to work, because it's early. It's still morning. <clears throat> right, 
give it a second to get her brain sorted. Even though she's quad core. Oh, there we go, look. Total, what the, oh, there it is. 5,000, blah, blah. So still, one gigabyte is missing, but that's just what computers are like. I don't mind that, as long as I've got five. And then my computer, it's good, it's fast. Play Far Cry 3, blah, blah. Just Cause 2. Sandra, Just Cause 2. Ultra HD graphics, mate. That's what you want to get. But anyway, that's how you do the RAM. So look, I tried doing that as quick as I can. It still took over five minutes. Yeah, okay. Adios.